Hey, siblings of Christ, welcome to week 34 of Read Through the Bible in Two Years. In our Old Testament readings, we are now in the book of, of Judges. Now, in the book of Joshua, which came immediately before this book of Judges, which the book of Joshua is the book of conquest. This is how the, the people of Israel took possession of this land that had been promised to them some 500 years before. In the book of Joshua, there is this feeling that, that the mission is completed, that the people who once lived there are no longer in control, and that and that the tribes of Israel all are in their places, and they can, they can rest, they can build their community now. But the book of Judges, which happens immediately afterwards, has a little bit of a different view, that there's still great danger out there. And the danger usually begins when the people of Israel fall into idolatry, when they begin to, as the generations go, when they begin to uh, worship the false gods of their neighbors around them. And there gets to be a pattern where as they would fall into uh, idolatry, and then God would see that that was happening, and God would allow another nation to come and to conquer them for a short period of time. And so after this other nation would come and defeat them and, and perhaps even enslave them for a period of time, then they would cry out to God. And then God would raise up a military leader. And this would be a judge, what they call the judges. And so it's not a judge in a long, dark robe, a long black robe. It's a, this is a military leader. And that judge then would, with the, with the Lord's help, rally the people into an army, and they would defeat that nation. And then, uh, and then it would start all over again. Then there would be peace for a generation or two, and then they would fall into idolatry again, and God would see that would happen. And so God would allow another nation to come in and to conquer them, to defeat them militarily, and, and subjugate them to some kind of, of, of secondary status until they would cry out and raise then another judge, and that judge would raise the people. That pattern, which was kind of a circular pattern, that pattern happens 13 times in the book of Judges. Now, those judges, many of these judges you probably haven't heard of, but some of them are quite famous. One of those judges is Deborah, this powerful woman military leader, uh, another one is Gideon, and, and so you'll hear the stories of Deborah and Gideon in this week's reading. The, the ones that are coming up are like the, the story of Samson, which is this delightful story about, about how God raised up Samson, a very imperfect person, but that comes in the weeks to come. In our New Testament reading, we are now in the book of Mark, and we are now in Jerusalem for the last time. One of the final readings from the week before was Palm Sunday, as God, as Jesus was um, was welcomed into Jerusalem with the people waving their palm branches, and they were uh, welcoming him in, welcoming him in as the Son of David, as the as the Messiah that has arrived. But of course, Jesus has a different understanding of that, and now that he is in Jerusalem, things start to happen. This conflict between him and the religious leaders, and ultimately him and the and the uh, Roman government, um, starts to come to a head. And there's this uh, part in the in chapter twelve and and uh, of Mark where Jesus is kind of under attack. He's he's has these groups around him, the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the scribes, and they they are peppering him with questions but questions not necessarily to learn, but questions to trip him up. And Jesus responds to each of these uh, attempts to trip him up. And then chapter 13, uh, Jesus enters into a, a final teaching with about what's going to happen to Jerusalem. Chapter 13 begins with the with the disciples of Jesus looking up at the great temple in Jerusalem and being so impressed. This is the biggest structure that they'll ever see in their entire lives. And Jesus says, um, well, there will be a time where not one stone will be left on the other. And Jesus lays out the, the vision for what those final days are going to look like. Thank you, folks, for all of your all of your faithfulness and continuing your reading through the Bible in two years. 
And it is our prayer and it is our hope that it will deepen your knowledge of Scripture, but even more importantly, deepen your faith in this God who has given us this Scripture. Thank you.